Wright class, Mrs. Wright here. Today we're going to start a new unit on the weather. And today's lesson is called, What's the Weather Like? One thing you need to know about as we start this lesson is that a whole week is seven days. Seven days make up a week on the calendar. And we've looked at pictures of the calendar before. We've learned songs about the months and the weeks, and we know that four weeks makes up a month, and 12 months make up a year. Now within those 12 months, we know that there are four different seasons, and that's what we're going to study today. We've talked about this in other units about plants and farms. We know that the seasons are spring, summer, autumn, or fall, and winter. All right, here we go. This picture is of a little girl named Annie. She's writing a letter. Do you ever get letters? Do you ever get letters from a friend or relative who lives somewhere else? She is a pen pal, and she's gonna be writing letters and describing things that she sees outside. Have you ever had a pen pal? Annie lives in Washington, D.C., which is the capital of our country. Washington, D.C. is where the president of our country lives and works. Look out the window. Could you describe the weather? Annie may live in a very different place right now, and their weather might be different than what our weather is. Listen closely to what Annie describes as she is a pen pal to a friend. Hello, my name is Annie, and I live in a big city called Washington, D.C. I'm in the fifth grade, but I remember when I was in kindergarten just like you. Right now in school, my class is learning about seasons and weather. Seasons are different times of the year, and the weather is the temperature and conditions outside. I heard you. For my school project, I'm going to be your weather pen pal. I'm going to teach you what the weather is like where I live. I will also tell you about the weather in different areas or places on Earth. You can help me with my project by answering all my questions so I can learn about what the seasons and weather are like where you live. There are many different kinds of weather. There is sunny weather, cloudy weather, windy weather, rainy weather, and stormy weather. What is the weather like outside today where you live? My teacher says that no matter where you live on earth, the weather is always changing hour by hour and day by day. That means that the weather never stays the same. But even though the weather changes, there are still some weather patterns during certain times of the year. A pattern is something that repeats itself. For example, the weather pattern in the summer is mostly sunny and warm. Weather patterns may change a lot in some places and very little in other places. It all depends on where you live on Earth. This is the map of the Earth. I've colored two areas on the map blue. One is at the North Pole and one is at the South Pole. Even though the North and South Poles are at opposite ends of the Earth from each other, they share the same weather patterns. The weather pattern at the North and South Pole is always cold and the land is usually covered by ice. This is a picture of the South Pole, which is located on the continent of Antarctica. It is one of the coldest places on Earth. The ground is covered by ice all year long, though it almost never rains or snows here. The wind can be strong and the temperature is usually freezing cold. I've colored the middle area of this map red. The color red is often used to stand for things that are hot. The weather pattern in this area is usually very warm all year long. 
the biggest change in the weather during different times of the year is the amount of rain that falls. During certain months in the rainforest, the day may start off warm and sunny, but by afternoon it may rain very, very hard. This weather pattern occurs almost every day. This area gets lots of rain and sun almost year round. The rain and sun keep the plants and trees green and healthy. Do you see the part of this map that is colored green? This is most of the United States, the country where we live. You can also see that Washington DC is kind of in this green area. Most of the United States is on the continent of North America, although the state of Hawaii is made up of islands located in the Pacific Ocean. In most of the United States, it's not always cold like at the North and South Pole, and it's not always hot like at the middle section of the Earth. The weather in most of the United States changes with every season, so we get cold weather, hot weather, and everything in between. There are four seasons in a year, winter, spring, summer, and autumn, or fall. Here, the word seasons means the different times of year. Each season has different weather. So the weather in the United States changes depending on where you live and which season it is. Plants, trees, grass, and flowers change in different seasons. You will also see different kinds of animals in different seasons. This picture shows the season called winter. Winter is the coldest season. In some places, snow and ice cover the ground during winter time. Other places that do not have snow and ice are still colder in winter than in other seasons. Some animals, like bears, sleep all during the winter season. Eventually, winter ends and spring begins. The word eventually means that something happened after some time has passed. In spring, the sun shines a little longer and warmer each day, which melts the ice and snow. The snow and ice turn to water as the sun gets stronger. In spring, new leaves appear on the trees, new plants grow up from the warming earth, and flowers begin to bloom again. Many baby animals are born during the spring, too. After spring comes summer. Summer is the hottest season of the year in the United States. Summer is the season in which all the plants are at their greenest, full of leaves, flowers, and fruit. Birds, bugs, and other animals are easiest to spot in the summer. Finally, after summer comes autumn. Autumn is also called fall. In most places in the United States, the leaves change colors and fall off certain types of trees in autumn. The air outside gets cooler and the sun shines a little less each day. Autumn is when farmers harvest their fruits and vegetables, birds fly south, and everyone starts getting ready for winter. Let's say the seasons together. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Do you know what season it is right now where you live? How do you know? Each season has its own special characteristics. Characteristics are ways we can describe and group things. Each season has things that make it different from the others. For example, a characteristic of summer is hot weather, and a characteristic of winter is snow. The seasons are different depending on where you live. Not all places get snow in the winter, and not all places are steaming hot in the summer. But one thing is for sure, no matter where you live, the seasons always change in the same order year after year. When something happens over and over again in the same order, it's called a cycle. Every year, the cycle of the seasons begins in winter, followed by spring, then summer, autumn, and back to winter. I'll be talking about my hometown, Washington, D.C., a lot in my letters. 
but the characteristics of the four seasons where you live might be a little different. It will be fun to see if your weather is different from mine. I'll say goodbye for now, but I'll write again soon. Until then, I hope you are enjoying beautiful weather where you live. Your friend, Annie. Okay, class, in the read aloud, you heard the sentence, each season has its own special characteristics. Say that word with me. Characteristics. Characteristics. One last time. Characteristics. A characteristic are the ways that we can describe something or describe a group of people and things. Characteristics of summer in the United States include hot temperatures and lots of sunshine. Describe some characteristics of the person sitting next to you. Try to use the word characteristics when you describe your neighbor. Pause the video and practice that word and describing something. All right, what was that word we were talking about? Characteristics. Characteristics is a, is it a singular word or a plural word? Is there a way you could know? Look closely at the word. Does it end with an S? Then it's plural. All right, time for standing up and sitting down. Here we go. I'm gonna say some things that are examples of characteristics of a good friend. Okay, if it is a characteristic of a good friend, stand up. It, if it is not a characteristic of a good friend, sit down. Here we go. Number one, being a good listener. I hope you're standing up. All right, number two, sharing. Are you standing up? That is a characteristic of a good friend. Always wanting to do things his or her own way. I hope you're sitting down. That is not a good characteristic of a friend, right? And the last one, being fun to play with. Are you standing up? Good, I hope you are. Okay class, we're ready to start a new packet. Find your seasons and weather packet and right here it says seasons and weather by blank. Whose name should go right there? Your name so you get credit. I want you to put your name right there and go ahead and over the next couple of days you can color the pictures on this front page. Okay, this is from lesson one. What is the weather like? Now I want you to look closely at this page and right here close to the top, you can see where it says the weather diary. That means you're gonna be keeping track of the weather for the next couple of days that we're doing our packet. So it says today is Monday is what you need to write in there. And you need to write the temperature and the weather. Then circle the cold season and underline the hot season. Great job today, kids, on learning about the weather. We'll be doing a few more stories that are weather related coming up. Have a great day.